everyone and welcome back to this uh, series of uh, electrical P7 PO exam about power systems uh, engineering. Uh, this question is about uh, transmission lines and this is a very common question in the uh, in the exam that you have uh, one of the regular question I would say is about transmission lines. And before going into the details of the question, I'd like to give some background uh, about this type of, uh, of questions. So this question, basically the transmission lines, you are using what we call the two board network ABCD parameters. These parameters are basically to uh, relate the sending end or the input to the VRIR or the output voltages and and current through these parameters. So we don't basically use KCL and KVL, although these ABCD parameters are derived from conducting KCL and KVL on the transmission line model. There are basically uh, different uh, models or ABCD parameters depends on the length of the line. So we have the short, which is the less than 80 kilometer, the medium between 80 to 240, and the long, which is more than 240 kilometer. Now these, the values of the ABCD are different, or the formulas are different based on the transmission line length and hence the, the magnitude or the, the values for uh, these parameters. Also for the long transmission line, basically we have the lossy line where you include the resistance and the lossless line. So overall, we have four different models. Most of the time, the questions is, are about long transmission lines, very little about the, the media. Sometimes they consider the losses, sometimes they don't. Now, regardless of what are the transmission line model used, there are two important rules that you have to know. The first one that A is equal to D. So you always given A, B, sometimes C. So A is always equal to, uh, to uh, D. Second, this formula always applies regardless of the type of the transmission line, which is A squared minus BC is equal to one. So if they gave you A and B only, they already gave it, given uh, to you uh, D, so you know A, B, and D, and C now can be found using this formula. And of course, A squared is nothing but A times D because as I just mentioned, A is equal to D. Now, there are three different types of questions related to transmission lines are usually asked in the BO exam. The uh, first type is that you already given the values of A, B, C, D, and you come here directly and basically apply the formulas here to find you are given the, uh, the VR and IR and you are asking for asked for VS and IS or you be giving only A and B. Now D you already know it and C using the A square minus B C you can find it. So that is the first category. The second category you are giving the Z uh, which is the series impedance and Y which is the shunt admittance of the line. And then depends on the line model, if it is medium or short or long, lossy or not lossy, then you can calculate the A, B, C, D parameter. So this time you need to calculate that and then use these formulas to calculate VS and IS. Finally, you are given only the configuration of the tower and the overhead line. So for example, you give it a three phase and each phase they have certain distance between them and certain radius or what we call the geometric mean radius and then you are asked to calculate l inductance c capacitance and r and then you will calculate from that the z and y and finally you calculate the a b c d parameters and then you come and use this formula so these are the three different categories we will uh, have uh, in this question it will be the the first category as we will see so here we have an A equal to 0.95 uh, and uh, 2. Uh, the maximum value of one is uh, of A is 1, actually, when the uh, system is basically short line. 
B represent, and this is in ohms, represent the series impedance of the line. It's asked to find the C. And here it is part B and C. Part A usually is a theoretical question. I don't want to uh, go through the theoretical questions because you can easily Google them. Then you, once you find the C, then you will be using the ABCD parameters as we will see in part C. So let's first start with by finding part C. And as I mentioned, we will use A square minus BC is equal to one. So it means that A square minus one is equal to BC. And hence your C is equal to A square minus one divided by B. So that is the formula to find your C. So your C is equal to A square, which is 0.95 angle of two square minus one divided by B. B is equal to 195 angle of 87.5. And this is equal to 0 0.9025 angle of four minus one divided by 195 angle of 87.5. And you will find from this your C is equal to 6.05 times 10 to minus four angle of 60.3. And the unit here is Siemens. And C is usually a very small number. In the short line, it is zero actually. And then if you use the medium or the long, you will have some value, but it is usually a very, very small uh, number. Okay, so that's how to calculate your C. Now you want to apply the ABCD formula. So it says you assume that it delivers. So at the receiving end, you have 1000 megawatt. And the voltage here, which is, as we know, always the voltage given to you is the line to line voltage. For the two port work, it is only the phase voltage. So the V line to line at the receiving end is 720 kilo volt and the power factor 0.85 lagging. We want to find sending end voltage and current using these two formulas, power factor at the sending end and the transmission line efficiency. So we start by finding VR and IR. Your VR is equal to the 720 divided by root three, and this will be our reference. So the angle is basically is uh, zero, and this is in kilo, kilo volt. Your IR, we know that this is 1000 times 10 to power six. This is the power divided by root three, the voltage line to line 720 times 10 to power three, times the power factor, which is 0.85. It's very important to have the power in watt and the voltage in V. So it is was in megawatt multiplied 10 to power six. This is kilovolt multiplied by 10 to power three to avoid any mismatch in the units. Now the angle is, this is a lagging power factor. So it is minus cosine inverse of the 0.885. When we do the calculation, this is 943.4 angle of minus 31.8 amps. So that is your VR, this is your IR. We know the A, B, C, D. Then we are ready to directly apply the formulas. So your VS is equal to A, which is 0.95 angle of two times your voltage, which is 720 times 10 to power three, divided by root three angle of zero, plus your B195 angle of 87.5, times your IR, which we already calculate, 943.4 angle of minus 31.8. Point eight. So this is basically your formula. We have everything here. So when we plug in the numbers, 525.1 angle of 18.4 kilovolt. Now this is the phase voltage. If you want to find your VS 
line to line, just multiply this with root three. If you want to have the magnitude for this, five to five angle of 18.4. Okay, so this is your VS, now your IS, it is C, which we calculated from the previous step, 6.05 times 10 to minus 4 angle of 60.3. This will be times 720 times 10 to power 3 over root 3 angle of 0 plus our uh, D. D is the same as A, 0.95 angle of 2 times the current, which we calculate 943.4 angle of minus 31.8, then you'll find that your IS is equal to 930 angle of minus 14.11. So we found VS and IS, meaning we want to find the power factor at the source or the sending end is equal to cosine theta VS minus theta IS which is equal to cosine of the uh, Vs is equal to 18.4 minus the angle, which is minus 14.11. And this will give me a 0.84 lagging. You have to add the lagging because the current actually lags the voltage. And this is the nature of lagging power factor and the nature of the transmission lines. Although the transmission line has a capacitive power, but overall, usually it is inductive, except if the transmission line is lightly loaded. Finally, we want to find the efficiency, which is equal to the P at the receiving end, divide the P at the sending end, which is basically the P out over P N. We know this, we need to find P S. So we now know everything. So it's a three times the phase voltage, which is the five, to 5 times 10 to power 3 times the current, the current at the sending end, which is the 930, cosine of theta Vs, which we calculated 18.4 minus minus 14.11. And we know that the power factor, which is this one, is 0.84. So when you do that, you find that your Ps is equal to one two three five point five megawatt so this is your ps so your efficiency is equal to one thousand times ten to power six divided by one two three five point five times ten to power six multiply this with hundred to get this as a percentage and this will give you eighty point nine percent so that is the efficiency of the of the line